USS Alabama. We're gonna try to check out the ships and the airplanes. What are some things you wanna see? I wanna see if we can like turn the wheel for the ship for how they would uh, um, see, uh, steer the ship. Okay, so we're walking up here to the USS Alabama. This ship was only in service for four years back in 1944 to 1948. They had parked the ship up by Washington State. They were just gonna decommission it and tear it apart. But the school children here in Alabama raised $100,000, towed it from out from Washington all the way to Alabama, the longest distance tow that any ship has ever been towed that's this size, cleared the Panama Canal by six inches, and now eight layers of this are open as a museum that we get to go check out. ship and it says it's made with about 44,000 tons of steel. So it's incredible how much steel this has. It's kind of like a choo-choo on a venture with so many doors to go through. I think we have found the engine room. So we are now definitely several levels under the main deck and we found this huge engine room. We had to go down I think three or four different ladders to get down here and it's really incredible so far. Yeah. One of the really cool things about this ship is that tons of the stuff is still functional so you can open and close the doors, you can see how the locking mechanisms worked, you can check out all sorts of different features of it that really you never get to on any other behind the scenes tour. Like this turns, maybe that turns, that one did. This mannequin right here just completely scared Josiah. The bridge was just recently opened, so we're gonna go up and check it out. Just found the uh, the bridge that just opened up to the public, and now you can actually turn it and steer the ship. This is where you'd send commands to the um, uh, to the engine room, the waiters, and the stairs.